Hi, hello, future bureaucrats of India. Welcome to Learn Stroke. In this session, I'm going to tell you about the micro topics or the minor pillars of civil services syllabus. By this time, I'm assuming that you already read the main syllabus and you have an idea that there are different papers like GS Paper 1, GS Paper 2, GS Paper 3 and GS Paper 4. And you know the basic pillars also. When I say GS Paper 1, the first thing that comes into your mind will be definitely history, Indian culture, geography and society. And when you, when you talk about GS Paper 2, you, you, you know that we have to study about the Indian constitution, Indian polity, international relations. GS Paper 3, Economy, Environment, Science and Technology. When I talk about GS Paper 4, it's all about Ethics, Integrity and Aptitude. But these are all the major pillars, right? Is, is the syllabus, is the Civil Services syllabus complete with this? No, it is not complete. In this session, I'm going to tell you about the various micro topics that is included in the syllabus and that makes the syllabus complete. So let's discuss the case of GS Paper 1. When I say GS Paper 1, obviously history, art and culture, geography will come into your mind. But that is not complete. There are other micro topics that need to be added. So we'll start with this. One of the important topics that we have to study in GS Paper 1 is the role of women. Women, women, women is a very important topic from all perspectives. The role of women in India and how the role of women is actually emerging. And what are the women's organization in India which work for women? We need to know about role of women and women organizations in India. So that is also an important micro topic. Apart from women, there is an important topic called migration. It's not clearly written as migration, but definitely that migration brings a lot of topics together. You know that people migrate from rural area to urban area. So there is a migration from rural to urban. urban. That is the concept of urbanization. A lot of people coming to the uh, cities creates a big pressure on the city. So there are challenges of urbanization. A lot of problems regarding urbanization needs to be discussed. And in this discussion, you know, a lot of people coming to urban areas, they don't have the spaces, they have huge pressures living there. And that creates another problem of poverty. Not only poverty, there are other issues like developmental issues completely. So we talk about the urbanization and then you talk about poverty, developmental issues and complete concept called as social empowerment. There is another topic called social empowerment. So these are all topics that can be connected like this. And apart from urbanization, social empowerment, there is another topic called as globalization. Everybody knows this concept, bringing the whole world into a single market is globalization. So what are the challenges of globalization? There are terms like deglobalization, reglobalization, and how is India affected by all these concepts? So this is again an important discussion to be noted. After the concept of globalization, then there is a concept called secularism, communalism and regionalism. Communalism obviously fighting in the name of religion, regionalism fighting in the name of the places that you come from and secularism is that which India has. India does not have a state religion. We respect every religion with dignity. So we have to know what are the challenges of secularism, what are the challenges of communalism, regionalism. So putting it together, these are the important micro topics that we have to study for GS Paper 1. And next is the GS Paper 2. When you hear the word GS Paper 2, the first thing will be Indian polity, Indian constitution, governance, and obviously international relations. These are definitely the major pillars. But what are the other micro topics that we have to really, really stress? First instance is a topic called as NGO, the role of NGOs, non-governmental organization. You must be, you must be really knowing about this concept of NGO. There are so many NGOs across this country who works for the general upliftment of different strata, different peoples of the society. There are NGOs for women, there are NGOs for children, there are NGOs for differently abled people. A lot of NGOs are very common. So we have to know how the NGO sector is actually working in India. And apart from that, another micro topic being SHGs, which is self-help group. What is the role of SHGs in India? What do you mean by the concept of self-help group? Again, this is an important topic inside this. And then comes an important micro topic of welfare schemes. A lot of welfare schemes is actually running in India. The government runs it for the benefit of the people. 
So what are the different type of welfare schemes that we run in India with a special emphasis on health sector? Health is a very, very important micro topic of GS paper too. A lot of news, especially in the time of the pandemic, we discuss about COVID-19, the vaccines. So every now and then there is a breakthrough in health sector coming in. It's very important that we study the health sector. And also another micro topic being education, the role of education. Education is also creating a lot of breakthroughs. You know, the new uh, education policy is going to come up. So what are the challenges of that? What are the important provisions that is going to have? How education is going to be redefined in the present time? So anything related to education is also an important topic in this. So we have discussed about uh, the different concept of welfare, health, education. And also, you know that GS Paper 2 contains governance, justice, and the different concepts of governance that the administration is concerned. There is an important concept called e-governance because everything now, every services now is going to be, is now completely through online and people are definitely used to all these e-services. So the concept of e-governance is also very, very important in this section. And apart from that, another big thing for GS Paper 2 is the concept of the role of civil services. That means you have to track down civil services. What is the role civil services assuming in India or just a role of civil services in India? So these are some of the micro topics of GS paper two. Now let's discuss GS paper three. Whenever I say GS paper three, the first thing that might come into your mind will be economy, economy related things, Indian economy, environment related, biodiversity, conservation, climate change related topics and science and technology. But there are also underlying micro topics involved like take an example of disaster management it's a huge topic you need to know about the gs paper one there is a topic called geophysical phenomena which includes floods earthquakes cyclones but here we talk about the disaster management areas in gs paper three and then another topic important is the different type of crops in india the cropping pattern the different type of irrigation system and agriculture being the most important one. So crops, irrigation and how the agriculture system completely is working in India is also very, very important sub point that you have to study in GS paper three. Apart from this, there is another very, very emerging concept called internal security of India. India has a lot of challenges internally and externally. Definitely externally, we have a lot of issues, terrorism, but there are a lot of different issues internal problems that happens in India. So that is the internal security aspects. And when you talk about security is a very, very important topic, micro topic of GS paper three, apart from internal security, we have to know about the border management and the defense system of India, how the borders as borders are managed. So the defense system is also important in this regard, border management, security, internal security, and then the larger concept of terrorism happening here. So these are the important micro topics of GS paper three. So now you know that GS paper one, two, three, the major topics as well as the micro topics, I think is now very clear to all of you watching this. So please read the syllabus carefully and do acknowledge and understand that all the micro topics apart from the major pillars are also very, very important for civil services examination. So please do read more about it.